Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katrin and I talk about reducing waste by making instead of buying. And before we jump into today's video, I just want to show off my finished knitting sweater. So basically I've been knitting this for a long time and I've recently finished knitting it and I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time, even though it's mostly lockdown and quarantine, but I'm, I decided to wear it anyway. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So in today's video, let's forget about this knitting sweater and talk about today's video. So I'm going to show you how to make red pepper paste. It's traditionally called Massa de Pimentão in Portuguese and it's very it's a very traditional paste um, used in Portuguese cooking but I've wanted to show this because it's very very easy to make and it can be used for a lot of dishes. I use it for pasta dishes all the time and it's not just traditional Portuguese recipes. And it's also it also has a bonus which is it's it lasts a long time, so I have, I'm have, i using paste that I made last year still. So let's jump right into this video. Let me show how it's done and I promise that you will love this paste. You only need two ingredients for this recipe. You'll need salt and red bell peppers and you'll want to start by cutting a bell pepper in half then removing all the cores and all those white parts then press the bell pepper this is mainly to be easier to handle and to have more surface that touch the salt otherwise you'll be using more salt than you need to and this way it's flatter so you can layer the salt better and now you'll need a container I like to personally use a plastic container and you'll need to cover the bottom of the container with salt then add the bell pepper just be sure to not let the bell pepper touch each other the idea is that there isn't there are layers of salt and bell pepper and you don't want to have layers of bell pepper otherwise it will not work and at the end regardless how many layers you do you need to cover everything with salt. So basically you, want, you are protecting everything with salt and to avoid bacteria in it. It's just like salt preservation 101. And now you need to wait. You'll need to wait at least 15 days for it to work, but you can wait for longer if you don't have the time after those 15 days, it will not ruin the paste. And we, me and my mom do every year a paste and we do a big bucket of it. So we just wait about a month or a month and a half. It really depends because sometimes I'm not home and we procrastinate on it. So now I'm going to pick it up. My mom covers it with foil. I wouldn't if it were me, but <laughs> feel free to do that if you want to. And it will be very tough, the, um, the layer of salt. It will harden a lot. So I've used a knife to try to get, dig into these paste. And that's what you want. You want this to be fully immersed into the salt. That's when it will work really well and it will last for a long time. As you can see here, the bell peppers are appearing and I'm removing them. I try to remove most amount of salt that I can during this process, although it's still very salty. The idea is to not have too much salt when adding later because I'm going to process these in a food processor and I don't want too much salt in it. 
An interesting thing is, when you do a big bucket of it, you'll have a lot of water. So it's salted water. And what I do is that I rinse everything into this water. And at the end, you'll have a lot of water and a lot of salt. So for the salt, I'm we use it. And the only thing that you need to do is let it dry. If you don't have a um, very dry house, you can let it dry on the oven when you are using for something else. And it will harden and then you can remove it and put on a separate container. So after you've done everything, you need to process it in a food processor. This is the easiest way to do all of this. It's important to work quickly because since it, this paste has a lot of salt, you don't want the blade to have contact with these salts for a pe long period of time. And don't forget, rinse it afterwards immediately or pour it into a bowl with water because my mom already ruined one container because of this. It was a chopper kind of thing and she ruined it because she didn't clean everything and it starts to gain rust. And after that you just want to pour everything into your jars. Feel free to use as many as you like, the shapes that you like. Just be sure that they are nicely clean. If you prefer you can boil them in water, that way you can ensure that bacteria is not there. And that's it. You have your finished red pepper paste or massed pimentão. It's relatively, relatively hands off. You just need to be a little bit patient and have the red bell peppers. Other than the paste, you'll also have a liquid. Basically, it's liquid salt. It's the water that left the pepper and it's great to add in dishes and replace the salt. You can store it in the fridge and you'll also have infused pepper salt. So we use this throughout the year and it tastes great. As you can see, it's very easy to make. And as a summary, basically you only need salt and bell peppers, red bell peppers and you want them to have a layer of salt for about at least 15 days and the ones that i've shared here are slightly longer because they are preserved in salt so we just procrastinate on taking care of everything and then you just need to process the peppers and you'll get not only the red pepper paste but you'll also have red pepper infused salt and you'll also have that liquid if you are doing a lot of red peppers at once so three three different uh, results three different ingredients that you can use made just for by this simple recipe it's very easy to make and let me know in the comment section down below if you try it out i would love to know and if you want to see the written recipe i'll link it down below as well and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye